All right. Hello, Ashley. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Wonderful. It's a beautiful Friday. <laughs> oh, an amazing Friday for a three-day weekend. I love it. <laughs> Same. Well, <laughs> let's jump right in. Congrats on season two on the renewal. That's so exciting for How I Met Your Father. Thank you so much. I bet it's a very thrilling time right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, first of all, it's a huge weight off of our shoulders because we can relax. We feel like we've all done our job and now we can just be excited for the next one. Totally. And thinking back to day one, could you imagine that you'd be here now? Not even a little bit. <laughs> I couldn't believe that I was there on day one. And now, you know, a few months in, I can't believe that I'm here and, and going back for another season. It's crazy. Well, I've been loving watching you and getting to know you as an actress. But one of the things that our audience may not know is that you actually got started on Broadway. Can you tell me about that experience? Oh my gosh, I'm the best first job you could ever have when graduating from college. I graduated from the school in England and came here and was trying really hard to audition. And uh, this job on Broadway was kind of fell, but fell into my lap in a way. And I was understudying two women who were the leads in this play. And it was an English farce called The Play That Goes Wrong. And I had to do, you know, an English accent for one part. And I was like the, the sexy leading lady. And then I, the other part that I understudied was the stage manager who then has to go on for the leading lady at intermission. And it was the best learning experience ever. I was with the most incredible group of actors and they taught me everything that I know now. <laughs> I bet it was pretty, pretty fun to get your feet wet there. Yeah. Um, but can you tell me what's the biggest difference between stage acting and acting for the screen? The biggest difference I think is, you know, on screen you're acting for, you've got the camera right here. It feels really intimate and you don't have to push your energy too much. You can kind of let the camera come to you. Whereas on stage, you're in front of a thousand people on a stage and it's live and so you have to project your energy a bit further out and so the last person in the last row can feel what you're feeling um but otherwise it's the same job it's just <laughs> you know the amount of energy that you have to exert I think. yeah totally and as a latina performer like growing up who were you looking to for inspiration and what was it about them that inspired you i'm not it was so interesting growing up as someone who wanted to be an actress, you know, because being, my dad was from Puerto Rico, but he was very much like, we speak English in this house. We don't, my mom was um, from Queens, good Jewish girl from Queens. And he was like, we don't want to isolate your mom. So we don't speak Spanish in the house. So we didn't, I didn't have a lot of Spanish or, or Latin influences in my my house growing up. So when people would say, oh, you want to be an actress? Oh, you're, you want to be like Salma Hayek or Penelope Cruz? And they're wonderful actresses, but those were the only two women that I knew of. And then as I started to get older, I'd be like, oh, you're funny. You're like Rosie Perez. And it's, there were only so many people that you could look up to from where I was from. And now I feel like now I have women who I look up to and I, I see people doing what I, I, you know, you see Anna de Armas, who's one of the most incredible actresses out there right now. And it's amazing to see, because growing up, I don't feel like I, I had that, you know, a, they are, they're beautiful women, you know, Penelope Cruz and Salma Hayek are the most beautiful women of all time. But I never felt like that. And I never felt like I could be that. So I, I feel like now it's really, we're starting to get more idols and influences than, than when I was younger. Totally. And I appreciate you talking about like the duality of, you know, of your culture. And so I'm curious, when do you feel most authentically yourself? This is interesting. Um, so I, I, like I said, I grew up in a Puerto Rican Jewish household and it's taken me a long time to own that identity and and feel whole in both spaces 
because I, I felt growing up like you could only be half at one time. Um, so now it was always growing up on a stage. That's when I felt my most authentic because I wasn't either thing. I was just entirely who I am, who Ashley is instead of Ashley at home or Ashley with with my wife and I or Ashley with, you know, whoever. That's when I felt my most authentic self was when I was someone else. And I think that's why I started doing this job. <laughs> totally. And last question, do you have any advice for Latina creators? Oh, just keep going and do not let anyone tell you that you can't do it or you have to wait for someone else to do it first. It. Go for it. <laughs> Perfect. Well, this was amazing. Thank you so much, Ashley. No problem. Of course. <laughs> I look forward to continuing to watch you on How I Met Your Father. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Anytime. See you around. <laughs> yeah. Bye.